of course, there are things we might have messed up in our first quick edit, and we might need to go back and fix some of them and do some additional edits. So that's what's going to happen now. This is the video we were looking at, and one of the things you'll notice is it's got a black box around it. That's because I didn't size the imported video to match the screen in Camtasia. Let's go back to Camtasia. We've got the full screen version of Camtasia here. And if we zoom down a little bit, we can see our canvas that we're working on. And you'll notice that the video isn't sized to the canvas. So there's the black box that showed up. Fixing that's easy. Select the material and stretch it to fit. So that solves that problem. Next thing we might want to go through step by step and see if there are any if there's any dead airspace that we can cut out anything that we can remove that'll make this a little smoother presentation it's very easy at this stage to invest a lot of time in editing to get things as tight as you possibly can that's something that maybe you want to leave to the engineering teaching and learning team what you really want to do here is take out the really glaring gaps that make the video too long and a little too boring. So I'll start by playing. So there was some dead space where I wasn't really doing very much. We'll listen again. Don't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> That's about where I'd like to stop. So I'll zoom out a little bit more so that I can really work with that space. Split the video there, go back to play mode. Nothing useful is happening. Uh, this is a slide that I show at the start of all my... I can skip the ah and start about there, I think. Split, and let's see how that goes. Uh, this is a slide that I show at the start of all my... I think that's probably going to be okay. Let's stop there. I'm not going to get rid of this just quite yet, but what I'm going to do is I'll take the gain right down uh, on the audio so that I don't hear what's happening in that clip. So now we've got... Have to worry about it. This is a slide that I show at the start of all my... We could get rid of that whole thing. And here's what it looks like. If and slide the rest of it over to there. Sometimes you might want to speed up what's happening in the video, but not cut it out completely. So for example, uh, we'll use the uh, clip speed tool, and I'm gonna fly that clip speed tool into the entire rest of the clip here, so that we'll be able to adjust the speed on all of the video that we eventually cut out of that. Now, nothing much happens in this sound gap here. So let's play along a little bit. That's a zone in gray there that I'd probably like to keep. Okay. So I'm going to cut here and here, and I'll keep the visual that's in between, but I'm going to make it happen much faster. So I use the clip speed tool there to speed up that intervening video. That means that you see everything that happens, but it doesn't take very long. So let's watch it and see what it looks like now. I've got some of the words. That's a zone in gray there that I'd probably like to keep safe and not put any content into in my uh, PowerPoint or, or keynote slides. Okay, so when we did this in here, it got rid of a whole lot of dead airspace while not losing any of the visual. So you can do that with the, uh, the clip speed tool. Now you'll notice that we still had full audio gain on there. If there was some sound happening in that segment and we wanted to suppress it, we can put the gain down to zero and the result will be no sound in that segment, even if I had been talking. Okay, I feel pretty good about that now. I've got that down to just a little bit over a minute. If I worked a little harder, I could get it under a minute and that might take me more time and effort. So now I'm going to save that version and I'll share that one as a local file. Oh, I'm glad that's finally finished. 
I'm going to use time compression in the final video to take out a lot of the steps in between using that clip speed tool that we talked about earlier. So now go and try that yourself. See if you can make it work.